In this episode of Stecker Studios, we add our relief symbol to our mug. To get started, you'll need some fresh clay, some quarter inch dowels, and a rolling pin. We're going to roll out a quarter inch slab, smooth it out, and get it ready to sculpt. For our mugs, we're creating a symbol that represents something important about someone important to us. I'm creating a camera for my wife. I'm starting to cut out a 2 inch by 3 inch rectangle to form the base of my camera. And I'm going to smooth this out before I begin attaching extra pieces. Think about what your design is and figure out what shapes and sizes you need to make. Now I'm going to begin measuring and cutting out some shapes for my camera lens and shutter controls. I'm using the circle template to cut out the lens. Draw all the parts you need out on your slabs, cut them out, and then in a few minutes we'll be ready to start assembling. Now that all my pieces are made and everything is test fit, I'm going to begin assembling. I'm marking where my pieces belong and I'm going to make sure to score so that way these pieces have some grip to stick on there. With both sides thoroughly scored, I'm going to add a generous amount of slip to make sure everything is stuck together well. Press firmly and wipe the edges smooth. I'm going to assemble the rest of my parts in the same way. Now for some final details before I attach it. Again, make sure that anytime you're attaching two pieces of clay together, you thoroughly score to provide grip and make sure you're adding plenty of slip to make sure everything is stuck on very well. Now I'm going to press it on there and make sure everything is well attached. It's a good idea to make sure that when you're attaching your symbols to your mug, everything is still flexible since your mug is three-dimensional and round. Just beyond the, we're at the leather hard stage is perfect. Now I'm just going to go over the seam with a brush to kind of smooth out all of my joints and seams and make sure everything is attached well and clean. Now I'm going to finish my camera relief design by going back and carving out some of the details with a loop tool. Last thing, I'm going to refine my work and clean everything up with a sponge and a cleanup tool. <laughs> 